Okay, how do we get some basic shapes into our animation? We've got our stick figure, awesome. Where do we get these things that everyone has, little objects? Well, the first basic start, play, start is gonna be file, create figure type, okay? And it starts with your uh, generic stick figure. So we're gonna just hit the, the X and we're gonna delete all these segments until all we're left with is a little stick, okay? And um, right away, if you can't change the size of that stick by dragging left and right, you go to edit and you turn on edit mode so there's a check mark or control E. So now I turned it off, I'm gonna turn it back on, control E. There we go, okay. So I'm gonna get, you have to attach something to it. So I'm gonna get circle. I wanna make a basketball, okay? So I'm gonna attach this to one of the spots there. Then I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna hit the X and get rid of it so I just have the circle. And now I'm gonna make it thicker by clicking on this until it's filled in. And I can also shrink it in a little bit like that. There we go. I have a basketball that's ready to go. File, I'm gonna say add to animation and I'm just gonna call this B-ball, okay? Now, um, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it orange. And I'm going to come over here to the size and I'm gonna make it 200. Now that basketball looks like it's more the size of my character. And um, I'm gonna make a line and I'm, I'm gonna make a line so I have a floor so that my character can hit the floor, the floor can bounce, or he can just have something to like kind of slam into. So I'm gonna go back to file, create figure type. It starts with the ball this time. I'm gonna just attach a uh, line right here. You have to click on one of the dots, click, and then I'm gonna click on the circle part, uh, maybe. I'm gonna hit delete. Now I have just the line. I'm gonna make it a little skinnier. And you can see actual thickness right here. It even says 17, 16, 15. So I'm gonna make it 14. I'm gonna hold um, control. And I'm gonna stretch this out kind of over farther. Okay, it's not full way. I wanna keep this line in here, um, but I got it. And now I'm gonna to go to file, add to animation. I'm gonna call this floor. And when you stick it in, it always drops it first right in the dead center. It puts your orange dot right in the middle. So I always move anything I make over to the side. And I'm going to hold the control key down, and that lets me stretch out. In fact, you can do this with body parts too. Um, right now, I'm going to hit control Z. I'm going to undo. I don't want to do that to my stick figure yet. Okay, so now I've got a piece of ground. I'm going to change the color of the ground too. Like, I don't want my characters to be exactly the same color. I'm going to make it sort of a gray. I can do custom colors. I could do like a dark gray like that. Okay, so my floor is a dark gray. I'm going to make my character a slightly different color. Uh, let's see, we'll go with that. Brownish color, and I've got my orange basketball. Okay, so uh, there's how you make some basic objects in Pivot using just Pivot. Um, and you can also do lots of other things. I could, you know, make a background using just those shapes, make them really thick and big. Um, you could make, you know, like this ball here. I can make a copy of that. You have the ability to duplicate copy figure. But we'll leave that for another day. That's the bell. Okay, have a great day. I hope that was helpful. How to make objects for Pivot. You should have a ball on a floor now.